While butterflies and bees are seen as vital parts of our global ecosystem, moths have had a bad press for some time. They're seen by many as annoying creatures that can leave holes in our clothes. But Matt McGrath, our environment correspondent, says differently. Well, there are not too many moths around this evening here in Oxfordshire, Kasia, but uh, the role of moths is increasingly being seen by scientists as absolutely crucial in terms of pollination. We all know about bees and butterflies, as you said, but the moths, they work at night, they're out of sight, they don't get much attention, but according to the scientists, they're doing an incredible job. And I thought they'd be mainly uh, focusing on your jumper because, of course, we know them for the uh, damage that they do to our clothes. But, in fact, <laughs> they've got a huge, complex network. They travel for, for miles. How does it work? Yeah, you're absolutely right. They would be some of them would be interested in jumpers, but the vast majority of moths don't do that. They travel at night, as you say. They pick up pollen on their sticky bellies, and they transport it from flower to flower. And they pollinate things like brambles, so you get wild strawberries or wild blackberries, and many other uh, uh, fruits and vegetables and plants like that. And they do this unseen, and they do it in some respects more effectively and more efficiently than bees and butterflies do. You heard it here. Our thanks to Matt McGrath.